welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as emotion recognition by textual tweets classification using voting classifier L or SGD so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project so in this project the authors have proposed a concept of identifying the emotions of the tweets by classifying it as happy or unhappy so generally we know that twitter is a social media platform where we can able to collect the views about the products trends and politics etc so here uh, we are going to uh, have the sentiment analysis of different techniques so here in this, in this paper the authors have proposed a concept of voting classifier where this is a combination of two algorithms or models and also with the TF, TF and IDF model. So, so the algorithm that we have implemented is using the voting classifier which is a combination of logistic regression and the stochastic gradient descent which is shortened as LR and SGD and the accuracy score that we have achieved is around 0 0.989 which is uh, 99 percentage so now let us see the execution of the project so first let us attach the database so in this project we have used the MySQL database because we are going to post some test tweets and also identify that what is the emotions of those states so for that purpose we have used the database so just go to mysql administrator login with the credentials just go to restore option in the left side panel and then select the open backup file which is in the right side and then go to the source code location and then select the database happy and then click start restore and you can see that restoration operation was finished successful message and click close and now we can close this mysql administrator now just so copy the source code location wherever you have pasted and go to the command prompt now go to the source code location and then type python app.py and then click so now here you can see the url just copy this url go paste it so now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title emotion recognition by textual tweets uh, uh, classification using voting classifier so first let us train the system by uploading the data set just click upload so here you can see the upload option Draw, select the browse button go to the source code location and then select the upload.csv file so you once after selecting the upload.csv file click upload button so after uploading you can preview the data set that we have uploaded so this is the preview part where you can see the data set with the id text and the label of it so you can just scroll down till the end of the page and see see the complete data set which that we have uploaded it so this comes around 10,314 data set records and then click the button click to try not test and after few seconds you can see the message training is finished click OK now the system is ready to identify or predict the emotions so now you, it will be navigated to the login page as I am a new user let me first register by clicking the registration part so in the registration part you can just enter the username email ID and the password and then click submit so here you can see the password should contain at least one number one lowercase character one uppercase character and one special symbol and must be between 6 to 10 characters so the registration was not successful let me uh, do it again and 
and then click submit and now you can see the message you are successfully registered please proceed for the login and click ok now it will be navigated to the login page where you can able to enter the username and the password and click login incorrect username or password I'm sorry so let me enter the username password so once if you are given the correct username password credentials you can just navigate it to the profile part where you can see the profile details with the name email id and the password so let me go to the tweet part so in the tweet part you can able to post the tweets and in the timeline you can see the tweets that you have posted and there is a logout option so let me post you can post any kind of the tweet so let me post with the tweet uh, and we'll check the emotion part so just go to the let me go to the test case part where let me check with a few test cases so just let me add some few tweets from it and then click post So here you can see the the timeline part that is navigated to the timeline part after the tweet has been posted successfully. So in the timeline part you can see what are the tweets that is posted. So now you here you can see the tweet posted by this user that is JP that what is the tweet that is posted is also been displayed over here. So now let us log out from this user part. So now let us go to the admin part. So after logging out just go to the admin part so, so we will check out the emotion recognition part of this tweet and just go to the once after giving the username password it will be navigated to the admin part where you can see who are all the users available with the user id name and their email id so here you can see the fourth user that is the user that we have created right now and uh, if you click the tweet details you can see the all the tweets that has been posted by the user and also the prediction result of it. So here you can see the user ID with the username, email ID, the tweets that we have posted and you can see the prediction result is happy. And then you can see what are all the tweets that is made happy tweets and also unhappy. It has been segregated here. Here you can see what all the things that has been happy and unhappy you can segregate it here and in the chart part so here you can see that uh, happy tweets and unhappy tweets this is a dynamic chart this varies according to the tweets that you are posting so here you can see happy is 2 and unhappy is 1 so let me post some unhappy content and check the variations of it so after the chart part that is a performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part you can see the precision and recall value so precision and recall value for the both the cases happy and unhappy you can see and what is the confusion matrix of it so let me log out from this admin part let me go to the user part again so now let me enter the user credentials and log in so let me go to the tweet part and let me select uh, the other case that is uh, unhappy part and then click post so the tweet has been posted now here you can see the first tweet and the second tweet that is posted by us now and let me log out from the admin sorry the user part and let me go to the admin part now now the login is successful and it will be navigated to the admin part so where you can go to the tweet details so in the tweet details you can see the user id 4 
with the first tweet is here and second tweet is here and you can see the prediction result is unhappy so here you can see the classified results unhappy and uh, the chart part as i said it is a dynamic chart so here you can see now it has been changed to unhappy so both are equal part now so this varies according to the post that you are doing it and let me log out and this is all about the project emotion recognition by textual tweets classification using voting classifier lr as gd and thank you for watching